You're listening to The Daily Nugget, dnugget.com for February. This is Tuesday, February 13th, and Janelle is still a little sad that her team didn't win the Super Bowl. I am. Sorry about that, Janelle. It's well, okay. I, I have a story handpicked for you on Tijuana Tuesday that I think is going to cheer you up. It's true. All right. Put you in a better mood. Jen is here too, our homeschool correspondent. Super producer Sam. Yo. Putting in the work so you don't have to. Hey, by the way, Sam, uh, I've, I've been seeing some merch stuff. What's what's going on with that? Oh, is it just for uh, funsies well, or? It's for funsies, but I can certainly put it up if people are interested. So yes, yes, yes. Put it out. Put it out. I feel like uh, we just need every, we just need to mint all these Janelle quotes. Yeah, it's true. Hootie, hootie, hoo. <laughs> I um, feel like there might be a Janelle quote after this one. And enthusiast. <laughs> yes, enthusiast is going to be it. And I feel like Janelle could be an enthusiast when it comes to this. It's true. Oh, no. I'm afraid. Janelle, are you looking for a part-time job? No. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Because you don't need to be an acrobat, have supernatural powers, or even the ability to ride on clouds for this job. Uh, okay. All right. You just okay. need to be a fan of the Chinese legend of the Monkey King. Done. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what you do is you dress up as the mythical Chinese character. You're going to get paid $842 a month. It's only part-time Seriously? gig. Yeah. In so China, you do. Un. What you do is you, and, and this is like a yellow <laughs> monkey costume. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. And you Good hang out in a thing. cave. You get to hang out in a cave, oh, which yeah. is kind of like where you are right now. <laughs> so in a bunker of some sorts. <laughs> you know, it's not like a uh, nuclear bunker silo like you're in now, but it's, it's, it's similar. And then you are fed bananas by tourists. Now, I am a fan of bananas, but... <laughs> are, you, are you a banana like a enthusiast? Full vegan diet. <laughs> We... I am, I because yes, it does fit into my veganism. But <laughs> the thing is, why I, I I just don't understand. I did actually preview this information before recording, and I thought that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever read in my entire life. Why would anybody even consider? I mean, it's not even for notoriety. Who wants to be known as the the banana eating monkey that lives in a cave. It's not the banana eating monkey. It's the le- Chinese legend of the monkey king. It's well, true. I, well, king or queen, whoever, who would want to write that title? I have no idea. They've got to be insane. This or is, okay, the monkey king fights like banana. a warrior, wields a golden magical staff, and mm-hmm. travels around on clouds. <laughs> What's not to like? You start no, your thanks. journey, Janelle. I, no. You start your journey on Five Fingers Mountain. <laughs> this is starting to sound like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> where, where the monkey king, where you're trapped by God's angry at your youthful arrogance. And a, a, a person called Tang frees you and you embark on your adventure. Five Finger Mountain, yeah. Banana Tree, Monkey King. <laughs> Say it with me. <laughs> Can you tell that Jen has small children? <laughs> now, here's the thing. Here's Did a key part of the role, Janelle. Watch that for entertainment anyway. Here's the key part of this role, Janelle. Okay. Before you say no, you have to accept a lot of snaps, uh, snacks, like apples, instant noodles, and lots and lots of bananas. I mean, that's pretty much your mm. diet. Uh, well, apples, ramen, except, and bananas. I, I, I eat bananas. I eat apples, but I don't eat the noodles. Why? Well, I'm gluten free. Unless it's like you're gluten free the, too. Yeah, I'm free of a lot of things, Sam. Yeah. You just wouldn't believe it. How do you not fall asleep during meals? They're so boring. Hey, I happen to love broccoli. Just so happened that tonight I was in your favorite store, Andy, Aldi. Okay, good. Good start. And I was <laughs> stockpiling some broccoli. I buy the frozen. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Why do you need to stockpile broccoli? Is there because a broccoli shortage I need to be aware of? No. I don't have a giant freezer. I only have a limited capacity. So when I'm there, I buy it because it's like in 
in one serving packages. I mean, I, I eat like a pound of broccoli a day. That's just <laughs> or more. But anyway, <laughs> all that to say the I had never been approached about the uh, quantity of packages that I buy until tonight. And somebody said, well, why, why all the broccoli? And I said, well, because I eat it every day and I like it. And he says, oh, well, and I said, and the great thing about all the broccoli in the frozen section is that this is a true story that it has more heads and less stalk. Nobody wants to eat the stalks. So I buy that and I enjoy it. And it's an easy meal for me. And I love monotony. Did you? This, this reminds me. There's the quote. I love monotony. <laughs> How exciting. Did you, did you wear uh, an onion around your waist as was the style at the time? No. Have you ever? <laughs> there's a there's a Simpsons clip. Okay, hold on. I gotta play this. Janelle, the story you just shared reminds me of one of the best uh Simpsons clips of all time. Smithers, get me some strike breakers, the kind they had in the 30s. We can't bust heads like we used to, but we have our ways. <laughs> one trick is to tell them stories that don't go anywhere. <laughs> Like the time I caught the ferry over to Shelbyville, I needed a new heel for my shoe. So I decided to go to Morganville, which is what they call Shelbyville in those days. I tied an onion to my belt, which was the style at the time. Now, to take the ferry cost a nickel, and in those days, nickels had pictures of bumblebees on them. Give me five bees for a quarter, you'd say. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. The important thing was that I had an onion on my belt, which was a style at the time. They didn't have white onions because of the war. The only thing you could get was those big yellow ones. Does that kind of feel... Does that uh, resonate with you, Janelle? No. I didn't have an onion on my belt. <laughs> That's the only difference. So I did a little bit of research here. The average monthly income oh, of boy. Chinese, uh, of the average Chinese citizen mm -hmm. is uh, 29,300 won. It's roughly $4,214. For the entire year. For, no, for for per month. Okay. Um, wow. And so $860, $842 a month. Um, That's high income. Is, for, is for, really high. For, yeah. Like, well, the good one, news one, is one no one equals like 7.2. I know one American dollar equals one point. Sorry, seven point two uh won. So like it's a very high salary. Your math ain't math and Sam. <laughs> it's fuzzy I told, math. I told you last week that I did not <laughs> You get, didn't get that gene. I didn't get, I didn't get the academic Asian genes. Mm -hmm. I, I I know math. Even if it wasn't good uh, a good paying job, one person that does it says I hope I can pass my childhood joy and memories and spread the culture of China while also turning the focus, get this, to the mental health of children and teenagers. How is that helping? <laughs> it's helping. I don't understand. That checks out. When's the last time you fed a, a man in a monkey suit a banana, Janelle? <laughs> Never. Well, <laughs> when's the last you time you fed it? a teenager? That's what they need. Continuous Anyone supply of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Ramen noodles and bananas. That sounds like a teenage meal to me. Mm -hmm. Together, probably. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> apples on top. That makes me think, what was your worst job ever? Uh, worst job. Oh, boy. Yeah. I got it. it. You got what? Okay, Janelle. Worst job. Yeah, that, yeah Jen, I know what you're going to say. Working, work, working with me. No, 
I played the fifth. That was the best of times, Andy. Gosh. <laughs> uh, no, cleaning uh, up after a daycare. Oh. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't even sound kind of fun. No. No. Again, was- Janelle, I don't know why you're talking about working with me. <laughs> it seems a little personal. Smells very similar. A little personal. <laughs> oh, I right. don't even. If you want to let us know what your favorite jobs, would you do this? Would you? Uh, would this be a dream job for you? And how does this help the focus of mental health of children and teenagers? Also, tell us about your worst job. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just yeah. really more entertaining. <laughs> Yes. Let me know. I, for whatever reason, I, maybe it's blanked out of my mind. I'm trying to think of a really bad job that I had. Well, well the you worst could one. clean the library, but well, then I... you, but you also made out with your girlfriend. In the okay. Email. Nugget hate mail at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is the, no, is the email weird. address. <clears throat> Don't worry. They're married. Were now. you there, Sam? <laughs> nope. He came, he came back to the room and told me what happened. <laughs> okay. I don't think I did. Well, one of you did. I did. I don't think I did. Or maybe one of your coworkers. I don't think they did. Mm, Somebody was super sleuthing. (laughs) I don't think this is happening. No, I'm positive your wife told me about that. Back to Monkey King. You'd have to move to China. It's cold there. Never mind. (laughs) That's why you're out? Yeah. The rest of it you're cool with? Okay. Yeah. (laughs) This is happening. (laughs) If this was happening in Oklahoma, she'd be all over it. You'd be the you'd be the the monkey monkey suit on. You'd be one. Janelle could be the monkey king of Oklahoma. You lost me at cave. I don't I don't do caves. Don't do caves. 